Before we jump headlong into Dreamweaver, I think it's important to take a couple moments in this chapter to go over some important terminology and some important concepts, especially if you're new to the world of web design. Uh, these are some things that you'll probably want to know. And one of the first things we should talk about right off the bat is the difference between HTML and XHTML. Now, even if you're just getting started in the world of web design, you've probably heard of HTML before, or as it stands for, Hypertext Markup Language. Not that you really need to know that, but it's good to know. Now, for many years, HTML was the only code you could use to create web pages. Now, you may have also heard of terms like ASP, JSP, JavaScript, or CSS, but these and others are essentially add-ons to HTML. Every web page at its heart was made with HTML. But in late 2001, the World Wide Web Consortium, which is a committee that determines the standards for the web, decided to discontinue HTML and replace it with XHTML. Now, this might sound kind of scary, but it's really not that big a deal. XHTML, which stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language, is almost identical to HTML. The most visible difference between HTML and XHTML is their syntax. Basically, XHTML places stricter rules on the way its code is written, with the ultimate goal of making web pages more universally compatible with different browsers and devices. You can essentially think of XHTML as a cleaned-up version of HTML. Now, does this mean you can't use regular old HTML in Dreamweaver 8? Absolutely not. Dreamweaver works just as well with HTML as it does with XHTML. Now, what does this all mean to you if you're someone who's never coded a line of HTML before? Well, not that much. Because the point of Dreamweaver, and this has been the case since it first hit the market, was to take the coding out of the designer's hands and to let the designer concentrate on designing. Dreamweaver writes all the necessary code in the background, and you can just concentrate on working on designing the page, unless you prefer on working on the code, in which case you can do that as well. Dreamweaver has always had a good reputation among designers and programmers alike because programmers don't have to worry about Dreamweaver changing their handwritten code and designers can concentrate on creating web pages without knowing how to code at all. And the code that Dreamweaver writes is always clean, and it doesn't contain a lot of proprietary or unnecessary tags. The difference between older versions of Dreamweaver and more recent versions is that the latest versions, like Dreamweaver 8 and the previous Dreamweaver MX2004, all write their code based on XHTML standards instead of HTML. But again, if you don't know HTML or XHTML, you don't have to worry about it for the most part because Dreamweaver handles all of that for you. But I should mention that if you're really serious about getting into web design professionally, or just doing it a lot, you'll have to start learning XHTML eventually. Because even though Dreamweaver makes it easy to create and edit your web pages, sometimes the easiest and best solution is to go into the page's code and fix up the page manually. But this being a Dreamweaver training title, we're not going to get too heavily into XHTML. If you're interested in learning more about XHTML, I'll do a shameless plug here for lynda.com and suggest you check out the Learning XHTML title here at the uh, online training library. And if you really want to get into uh, mind-numbingly specific information about XHTML, visit the W3C's homepage at w3.org. This is the website for the W3C, which again is the committee that determines standards for the web. Down here on the left you'll find a link for XHTML. So if you've got a free weekend, here's some nice light reading to curl up with. So it'll tell you all about the XHTML standard, the recommendations for using it, and lots of other information that we're not going to get into in this particular training title. But it's good to know that it is here if you really want to know the specifics about this particular standard. Now we're going to get more into the details of how Dreamweaver works with XHTML in the chapter on basics. But for now, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Dreamweaver uses the XHTML standard rather than HTML.